Today, more than ever, people are enjoying our oceans and living in coastal areas. This phenomenal growth has led to many new boat owners who have made boating and fishing a favorite pastime and a major part of their lives. Unfortunately, one of the highest costs involved in saltwater boating is engine maintenance. Unlike freshwater, saltwater is very corrosive to engine parts and all engines must be flushed with fresh water on a regular basis. For years, owners have had to attach suction cup devices to intake slots located just inches away from a sharp propeller blade. Then they had to run the engine out of the water for up to 20 minutes in hopes of flushing out all the salt. This process was difficult, dangerous, noisy, and only partially effective. That's why it's a common assumption that saltwater boaters should replace a number of key engine and cooling system components every three to five years or risk catastrophic engine failure due to corrosion. This is a simple, safe, and effective way to flush out your engine, removing all salt and minerals in a fraction of the time of other systems. The process is done with your engine turned off, making it safe and quiet. Sound revolutionary? Well, it is, and it will save you a lot of money. Put the other flush system on at the lower unit and uh Crab biting his toes and everything. When this system came out, hook it right to the transom and uh, don't even have to crank the engine up. And a fantastic piece of equipment. My uh, engine has been used extensively in salt water. And uh, like I say, it's a 91, so it's held up well and uh, no problems. I recommend this unit to anyone, uh, basically because of the ease of operation, the convenience, and the longevity of the engine because of it. Boat manufacturers have attempted to address this flushing issue by designing single port water hose hookups or muff type freshwater induction systems. Most of these designs are engineered to be used with your engine out of water but still running. As you can see and hear, this is a loud and potentially dangerous operation. Municipal water pressure delivered by the common garden hose does not provide the sufficient volume of water or cooling needed to operate an engine out of water. Using muffs, the water is picked up by the impeller located at the foot, which pumps the water through the engine until it reaches the gravity drain. Then a large amount of water runs out without adequately cleaning or cooling the engine. Traditional methods simply do not flush your engine effectively, and over time, you will need major expensive engine work. Safety is a major issue with us. Uh, we see all too frequently uh, the effects of uh, poorly maintained boats. Overheating is a significant problem and when you're 30 or 40 miles offshore okay, it's very difficult to find a mechanic. What happens is the corrosion builds up inside the manifolds and the risers. In my experience, boats that aren't flushed have to have their risers replaced at least every two to three years. And that can run upwards of $1,000 every two or three years. It's a lot of money. Not only that, they're typically not replaced until the engine starts to overheat. And by then, you've caused additional damage, or if not damage, you've certainly reduced the life of your engine. Instead of repowering every four or five years, I believe that a properly flushed engine will last you know, 10 to 12. Most of the other methods have significant drawbacks. 
uh, this particular unit is the only one I've seen that I felt comfortable enough to actually install in my personal boat. So uh, th this particular unit is the, is the only one that I could install inside the boat and because of its pressure regulating features know that the danger of injecting water into my cylinders is virtually non-existent. I started selling the units on my own as a small dealer here in the uh, Tampa Bay area. Uh, since then I've sold over 250 units and out of those I have exactly zero unhappy customers. Some of them are uh, going on six years now and have yet to do their first corrosion based maintenance or repair since then and I think that speaks for itself.